I'm about to be doing a full interior detail. I got about a 45 minute drive and this is the thing about San Antonio. If you go into the north side from where I live at, it takes forever. If you go into any other side, it takes 20, 30 minutes, especially if I'm going to the south side or whatever, it doesn't take that long. But any other side, like the, but going to the north side, it takes too long to get there. So we are doing a full interior detail on the XC60 Volvo, which is like the SUV, SUV version of what I got, um, crossover version of what I got. It's like a small SUV, right? And this is gonna be the first time I'm gonna use this steamer. So we'll see how this steamer go. Now, if y'all know a good mic setup for a GoPro, this is a GoPro Hero 9, comment down below and let me know because I wanna get a mic so that way I can actually speak while I'm working. Other than that, I'm, whenever I record off of this GoPro, I'm gonna have to do voiceovers because you're gonna hear the wind, you're gonna hear the generator and all that stuff. So. So I'm working on a Volvo XC60 and this is before I started cleaning. Now, the owner did a really great job of keeping this vehicle up. They bought it in 2018. Um, she told me that they haven't had anybody come out or clean it or anything that she's just been taking care of it herself. And I was like, yeah, you're doing a great job. So we tested out two products. We tested out the handheld steamer from Harbor Freight. And then we're going to test out my new extractor setup. So it only holds 11 and a half ounces. So if you're trying to do a whole car with one tank, it's not going to happen. You're going to have to refill. But because it takes only 11 and a half ounces, it heats up really fast, like less than two minutes. Now, the pressure behind it, depending on the attachment, is pretty decent. I feel like it's about the same as the other steamer that I had. If you want to do the vents or you want to steam in some of the cracks and crevices like I like to do, it's definitely doable. Now, one thing I wish it did have was a on and off button. It does not have that. But at the same time, you could keep it plugged in because it doesn't draw as much power as you would think. I have a 4550 Predator inverter generator and I had it plugged in while I was using the vacuum and while I was using my air compressor and it didn't make either one of those kick off or nothing. So that's pretty, that's pretty decent. You can just leave it on and use it when you have to use it. So I used it in different ways. I used it on the seats. I used it to steam the carpet. I used it just in whatever way that I could. So in the process, I probably refilled it a good four times. I know once I got to steaming the carpet with it, by the time I got to the passenger back, I had to go and refill again and do the so the big question is, does it have a place in my detailing arsenal or your detailing arsenal? Yes, I do feel like it does. I think this is a great spot cleaning tool. Say you got some candy or something um, that you're trying to get up. You can just whip this out really quick. It warms up fast and you can get that up. Um, I don't use the steamer as much as I used to anymore. So having this little tool is a good help just in case I need it to get some tough spots. Now what we're about to test out next is the extractor. So right now, this is the very first time I'm using it since I put everything together. If you haven't seen that video of how I put this together, uh, make sure you go check out my last video. But basically, I don't take the extractor out anymore. I have a solution tank that I put inside the van or inside of my water tank that is pushing fluid into it with a water pump. And then I'm using my 50 foot um, holes for my vacuum to suck up the water. So now whenever I'm doing extractions, all I got to do is run some lines and that's it. It makes it 10 times easier. It actually was a little bit more flexible. And I feel like I was a little bit more efficient when it came to shampooing the carpet. Now, tomorrow would be the best way to know if this is going to work because I have a real dirty interior with cloth seats. So I'll be making a video on that one as well. Thank you for watching.